in this video i am going to list down six reasons to measure sales kpis on a regular basis it is a well known and well accepted advice from successful entrepreneurs and management gurus that if you wish to improve something start measuring it read the book measure what matters by john dor for more insights however today i'll be talking about six benefits of measuring sales parameters In a separate video I will also be explaining the parameters you need to measure but as usual in this video let me start with why why you need to measure some sales kpis what are the benefits why measurement is necessary there are at least six good reasons if you know of any other benefit please let people know in the comments the reason number 1 measurement brings objectivity business speaks and understands the language of numbers numbers tell you about your performance we come to know if our performance is improving or deteriorating only through measured numbers it gives gives us inputs in black and white there are no gray areas about numbers we don't have to guesstimate based on the views and reasons and perceptions of individuals we exactly know the gap between the goals and the reality reason number 2 basis for reviews if measured data is available before the review then you can analyze data and prepare for the review your preparation as a reviewer increases the effectiveness of reviews by 100 times in absence of data reviews turn into data gathering meetings and the main purpose of the review is lost reason number 3 improve team performance measurement brings accountability and accountability improves performance a simple example is If you just start recording the number of dials and calls made by a telecaller in a day the number of dials and calls goes up just by starting to measure it even if you haven't specifically told telecallers to increase the calls when we understand that we are being measured for we tend to improve that automatically reason number 4 spotting the area of improvement these measurements tell us if we are not performing up to the expectation level and in which area we need to imp- we need improvement for example if we start measuring output of different machines in an assembly line then we know which exact machine is under producing and we co- we can work to improve productivity of that machine so that entire assembly line productivity can go up in sales we can spot a particular product or a person or a region or a step in the sales process that needs improvement reason number 5 accuracy in projections with actual numbers in front of us we can project sales numbers accurately the history data forms the basis for such projections This data is useful while taking some important business decisions. With accurate sales proje- projections, you can plan for resources, manpower, inventory, cash flows, production schedules, etc. very accurately and in advance. If you have been measuring numbers of leads and conversion rate, then based on the number of leads in hand in pipeline you can predict number of orders with fair accuracy reason number 6 act in time with clarity the measurement serves us both as lag indicators and lead indicators lag indicator is result achieved for example number of orders booked lead indicator is number of hot inquiries lead indicator that is inquiries gives you an idea of expected order booking obviously the number of hot inquiries 
if it is less than desired the order booking will be less than targeted this gives us clarity to act in a specific area let's say of inquiries so that the final outcome of orders can be achieved please leave a comment are these good enough reasons to start measuring sales kpis say yes or no in comments it would be great help if you add in comments any other reason you can think of thank you